Okay, everybody, we are doing another seed haul. This is another trading haul. Everything's from trades that I did on the Facebook group, Tomato Obsession. This is the month of October. So if you're not a part of the Facebook groups, Tomato Obsession or Pepper Obsession, go check them out. I'll link them down below. Most awesome groups. Okay, so start with, oh, I like to tell you where I got them from. These are from Granite Silly, I can't say that right. So this is from the same person as another trade I did. Granite City, Illinois. And I can't say Granite City the first time right. I say Granite Silly. Okay, so these two are tomatoes. This one is Kaleidoscope Jewel. And she writes the name, I doubt you can see it, on the baggie. And I got primary colors. Both of these, very gorgeous. Rona, do you mind? Please get down. Okay, now I have to say that my trades are getting bigger and bigger each month, so. All right, this one is I won a contest. So this is Black Prince. Rona, Rona! Cat is here knocking stuff over. This one is from, again, the same person, Granite City, Illinois. Got it right that time. Aren't you proud of me? I'm not sure. I was this a, uh, this was a trade or she granted my wish I can't remember it was either I traded something or she granted my wish because a lot of times when I trade I don't normally trade just one I try to trade like a bunch but sometimes I do this is Georgia streak next one this one's from Whitesboro New York this one's frog princess and it's a green one. You might have been able to guess by the name. I'm pretty excited about this one. Because I really want to I want to grow all the green ones and all the white ones this year. I think it would be really cool to have like green spaghetti sauce or white spaghetti sauce. Has anyone ever done that? If you have, comment below. Let us know what the outcome was. If you have pictures, I'd love those too. The next one is going to be, oh, where's this one from? This one's from Scottsboro, Alabama. This was Cherokee Orange Tiger. I have a couple of really big trades. This one is not that big, let's see. This one, yeah, this is just one. So this one, I think, yeah, he gifted this to me. This one is from Ravina, Ohio. He gave me a lot of seeds, my goodness. A lot more than 10 in there. This is Lemon Sherbert, and I believe this is a micro dwarf. Yes, this is a micro dwarf, which I am really digging right now. Collecting the micro dwarfs, because I've got 20 of them in the basement. I need to do a quick update video, because I did the video of me planting the seeds, but I did not show what they look like now. If I were you guys, I'd be curious. Did it work? What are you doing? Where are they at? This one is from... Newport News, Virginia. Uh, this is the second time I've traded with her. And the people in the group are so nice. She accidentally, so we traded and she said, was it a trade? Yeah, we traded and she said that she was going to, or maybe it was she granted my wish. One of the two. But she accidentally sent the ones that she traded with me to someone else. <laughs> And she was so apologetic. I was just like, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and she didn't have any more of those type of seeds to send me. And, you know, I was like, I'm really, you know, it's free seeds. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not upset. But she like gave me two other kinds on top of, it was like two or three other kinds on top of the ones that she um, was going to give me. And, you know, in place of the one, I was just like, these people on these Facebook groups are just the sweetest, kindest, most thoughtful. Like, I love getting, scrolling through the comments and everything that group. It just, it puts a smile on my face. 
So if you need to be near people that are kind, loving, sharing, join those groups. Because <laughs> uh, they, b both the groups bring a lot of joy to my life. I know that sounds kind of like, it's a Facebook group, but making connections with happy people, kind people, sometimes that's what you need to do. I digress. Um, so she sent me, okay, let's show you the seeds. So she gave me Damascus Steel, and that one has a picture on it, and it's really pretty. Let's see, did I write something down about that? Yeah, it's a black and blue, black and blue tomato. I don't know if you can tell on the picture there. She gave me Summer, Summer of Love. That's this one here. And she gave me Sangra. That's this one here. And then Thorn Burns Lemon Blush, which that's one I'm pretty excited about. That's on my definite grow list. See, she even wrote on the card. I'm so sorry, Jen. Like, <laughs> it's, it was fine. But thank you for being, you know, so thoughtful. All right, which one do I want to do? Mm, okay, we'll save the, the big one for last. So what I did this time around for the video is beforehand I went through the seeds and I was writing them down and looking up for the pictures. Just so there's something. My daughter is in the background making her breakfast, so we're just going to roll with it. I'm hoping she's not too loud. Like I was saying before, I was going through the seeds and I came across these seeds and they're from Woodstock, Georgia. And this was someone that was new to the group and he had said that he dealt with a lot of peppers. So he was probably coming from the group Pepper Obsession. And he commented and said, listen, I'm new to the group. I'd really like to delve into more tomato seeds. Does anyone want to trade? And I was like, well, sure. I, you know, like peppers too. And let's get out of the way. So I decided I'd trade with him and get some new pepper seeds. Well, as I'm looking through the seeds yesterday, I come across a bunch of ones that were moldy. Well, here's the ones I'll go through the ones that look like they're okay some of them are kind of iffy so I don't know what happened to them because some of them look just fine uh, I don't know if maybe they weren't dry enough when he put them in the baggies or uh, moisture got into the baggies on transit on some of them but some of them are fine I don't know what happened but I've got them drying on a plate I don't know if they're salvageable because it's been when, when did I get these? It was like November 21st when this was post-dated or postmarked. What is it I got that looked okay? This one is called Purple UFO. This one is called Thai Chili. If anybody has grown any of these peppers, because I'm not, I know some of them are pretty hot. This one is Sugar Rush Stripey. Comment down below, let me know what you think of them. I have Sugar Rush Peach, and I really liked that one. And this one's really pretty, so it's got stripes. This one is Hawaiian Chili. And then this one, which is really neat, this is his own hybrid. So you can, you know, uh, cross breed, you know, your pepper plants or your tomatoes, even you can cross breed or cross-pollinate those and come up with your own variety and if you stabilize it would you chill so this is his own pepper that he breeded and it's called PKC and those are the initials of each of his kids like first names so the first initial PKC, which I think is really cool. I'm, this is a, these are definitely on my grow list because I just think that the initials are cool that he named his pepper that he's growing after his children. All right, so let me, I'll take you over to where I've got him drying. Um, 
so I got white bullet, but do you see, I don't know, the lighting is that great. They're just not looking so hot, but I'm going to plant them. White bullet. And then I got another Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush Cream. You see how they're getting really dark, but then there's some that look like they might be okay. So hopefully I'll try the ones that look like they're, you know, possibly gonna be okay. Um, or I might just try trade form again. And then Brian's Blood, so these are looking better. And then I got Buena Mulata. So like this one right here looks pretty decent. But the rest of them are kind of questionable. What does that say? Yay, my package is out for delivery. I think it's my tomato book. Yay. Tomato obsession made me do it. Last trade. This one, okay, so this person I've traded with twice now. And she has a collection that would blow your mind. Uh, she's got like a thousand different kinds of tomato seeds. After trading with her the first time and seeing her master list of everything that she has, I actually, I think I did a video. Yeah, Forgotten Heirlooms, I think it was, or no, 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 no. It was Renaissance Farms. I actually went on there and cross-checked. I looked at her list. If she didn't have it, those are the ones that I bought so that I could then go and trade with her again. So in my next November haul of traded seeds, I traded a bunch of tomato seeds with her again. So I, you know, every time I go to purchase seeds from a new place, I kind of try to look for ones that she doesn't have. That way we can trade, you know, double the new seeds. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. She is from Olay. Kansas. We'll just get started here. We're gonna do, <clears throat> so she's got them in a bunch of rows. Little note there, thanks for the trade, enjoy. Um, and then she put, I added a few extras. See, the people in these groups are great, fantastic. Always ready to share. All right, so the first one is Everett's Rusty Ox Heart, so. The ox heart ray says it right in the name. This one is yellow dragon. This one is yellow 1884 pink pink heart. Or I think it's 1884. And this one is sun blue. And I'm not even going to attempt this one. It looks like it might be German. I don't know. Oh, and then this one. I forgot I traded it, and then I went on Baker Creek, and I bought I bought these. And then I not only did I buy the packet of seeds, I accidentally bought two packets of them. Chocolate pear. So I've been trading my chocolate pear because now I have plenty. Yeah, this one is Claude Brown's Yellow Giant. yellow giant. This one is Moon Eclipse. And I love doing, I love doing these videos so far because once I've got all the pictures up, for one, I like doing them because once I've got all the pictures up on the video with the names of them, it's going to be so easy for me when I go to need to pick out seeds the ones that I want to start because I'm picking 200 varieties this year and I've got, oh, I'd say at this point over 600 new varieties of tomatoes that I could potentially start. So it's going to be hard, but I've got the video where I've got the pictures and I'm a visual person. So packaging gets me. So I'm going to be probably picking a bunch from just the way they look. Maybe some that are super popular people ha are talking about as well but 
this is one that people were talking about. And two, the second reason why I like doing these videos is because it's kind of like, it gives me that feeling like, you know, when you were a kid on Christmas morning and you were finished unwrapping your gifts and all you wanted to do after that was call your best friend and see what they got and then tell them what you got and like go play with their stuff. So that, it kind of gives me that feeling. Christmas morning, I wanna share with everyone what I got. This one is one that a lot of people are talking about. A lot of people are trying, you know, are putting on their wish list. They want to get themselves. So I'm probably definitely going to grow this one. And I only got four seeds for this one. This one is DB Cooper. So if I can, I may trade for that one again. All right. So this was a bonus. This is one I, ha I actually ha already have. This is like one of the first, when I first started a garden I guess it's been five years ago now I went on Amazon and I looked up heirloom cherry type tomatoes and heirloom beefsteak type tomatoes and it came with like a pack of like eight different varieties and this was in the cherry type this was one that was in that packet I can't remember what the company was called Dave's Dave's heirloom seeds I don't know but this one is Matt's wild cherry and I tell you if you grow this thing once you don't ever have to grow it again. I have Matt's wild cherry, kind of a small cherry. They're everywhere. I have them coming up on the sides of my driveway. Like I don't even know how, but I they they pop up all over the garden. Sometimes I'll let uh, volunteers do their thing, and it seems like every time I do let one go, let one go, um, it's a Matt's wild cherry. Like they're just. <laughs> Okay, so this is, there's like a group of these types of tomatoes, and I'm not sure why they're named this, if anybody can let me know in the comments, but there's several of them, but it's Kazula and then a number. So this is Kazula 24, and I've got several of them. So I've got Kazula 179. Like, do they, I think they might have names. I should probably look this up. And this one is, but they're really pretty tomatoes. I really like these Kazulas. This one is Kazula 125. And this was another bonus. This is one I don't have, Honey Drop. So she gave me a couple of bonuses, which was awesome. Phelan's First Snow. This is a popular one. I think I said this one in my last video, but this is, I traded it again. Girl, girl, weird thing. And Kansas depression. All right, we got one more row to go here. Not done yet with this one. <laughs> Let's get them done. All right, this one is Mikado Black. This one is Meat Breakfast. Green Giant. Can't wait to grow that one. OSU Blue. Uh, Zagatka. Mm. Prarodi. I don't know. There it is. <laughs> I can't pronounce stuff. You already know this. Okay, Thunder Mountain. I like the name of that one. This is another, I like the name of this one. Lavender Lake. Oh, and I wanted to say, this one here, when I looked it up for pictures, different places had different pictures. And they looked like different tomatoes. So... I'm just curious to see what it will actually look like when I grow it, because that's on my grow list. That's on my definite grow list, Lavender Lake. This one, Missouri Pink Love Apple, which if you didn't know, tomatoes were actually way, way, way back when considered to be, is it the Aztecs? They called them love apples. Fun fact. Okay, so that is, whew, 
That's the seed haul for October. If you like seed hauls, please give this video a thumbs up. Please, please, please subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. And I hope you all enjoy your day. Rona, who wants to see your butthole? You can't, you can't be rubbing yourself all over the camera. No, ma'am. Please get down. <laughs> this one is Rona.